Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool duck telephone and this is Eva's telephone from Canada. And so basically there's some issues with this telephone. Uh, she's got a letter here and she's talking about how we talked and she cannot dial out with the phone although the ringer uh, seems to work and then uh, anyway basically what it comes down to is she can't dial out with this telephone and uh, so this is the initial check out of this telephone and I do have the uh, handset if you've never seen one of these you probably hear the dial tone now because I have it plugged in, but uh, I want to hold down the uh, hook switch. Looks like somebody tried to gain access into this telephone. I see some pry marks. I'm not sure at what point that it happened, but uh, anyway, somebody has tried to gain access to look over the telephone or um, see what they could find on it. Now, I want to go ahead and ring the telephone. getting one eye that lights up. This eye doesn't seem to light up. But this one does. We'll go ahead and answer it. And I'm going to try to, if you watch the analyzer, I'm going to try to dial a number. I can barely hear a faint I can barely hear a faint um, tone when I try to dial. I want to click the hook switch and make the dial tone go away. If you notice this red light here should light when I hit this uh, microphone here, the transmitter. So we're not getting any transmit either, but we have receive. Give you some receive there. So we have a few issues with this telephone. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. We know a, one of the eyes does not light up on a ring cycle, but we are getting uh, the quacking sound on the ring cycle, and it's not dialing out. We could try pulse. I'll move it over to pulse. I can hear the... but the dial tone never goes away. So it's acting like it wants to dial out, but it's not actually dialing out. So we'll go ahead and unplug it. I'm gonna move it back over to tone. And I'm gonna give you a look at the inside of this telephone. So right off, we uh, notice that there is a wire that has come loose. So we know that that probably goes to the LED light but there's going to be other issues if you've never seen a board like this. I'm going to give you a little look at that. So we know there's some issues on the main PC board other than uh, one of the feeds for the uh, eye, for the LED eye, is, is off. So that's probably what the problem is with the eye. But we're going to have to go through this board and troubleshoot this board and find out why it's not dialing out and why we do not have any transmit. So we've got two issues, no dialing out and no transmit. And I do believe once we uh, go ahead and resolder the line for the LED that that will probably start working. But we have other issues that we need to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and take a short break and uh, start doing uh, a troubleshoot on this main PC board and then uh, we'll try to get some more video of this repair as we move forward. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and I kind of want to show you something that we've found here. We've got a lot of wires here that we have to worry about. I want to show you this area. There's a mounting screw here in this area 
that I have taken out to get the board out. There is a crack that runs all the way across the circuit board. And so what we want to do before we uh, can do any further troubleshooting is we want to get every one of these traces repaired or find out exactly which ones are broke. But that crack runs all the way across this board. And as you can see, there's quite a few traces in this area. So we need to uh, re-secure every one of them and make sure every one of them have uh, some type of a connection. And uh, whether we have to put trace wire on or whatever, we have to make sure that they all are going to have a connection. And that's even for the future, because if this telephone gets, uh, you know, takes a fall or drops, uh, we don't want one of those connections that uh, have a crack in it now, but maybe not all the way broke through. We don't want it to break in the future. So we're going to have to go through every one of them and make sure that they're put back to normal and everything's proper. So we're going to take a short break and kind of finish that up, and then we'll uh, start our troubleshooting process if this does not take care of the repair. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're going to kind of run through a little bit about what's been going on. Uh, I was troubleshooting the main PC board for uh, the duck, and we have basically have found two bad diodes and three bad transistors. And I was kind of wondering, this is a transistor here. We have another one. And then we have the third one. I was kind of wondering when we were going to stop finding bad parts in this telephone. And so it basically took out two diodes and three transistors, and it had to have been some type of a power surge or electrical surge because uh, there was so much damage uh, to the telephone that it would have to have been something in that area to cause this type of damage or this much damage. But the telephone is repaired now, and what we want to do is I want to go ahead and ring him. He, he, the duck always did ring, or quack. I'm going to let that go one more time. I have them all apart, but I want to give you some dial tone. And our eyes are lighting on the duck now. We did uh, repair the line that uh, was broken, but another issue is the lights, the eyes didn't really light except for on a ring, and they're supposed to light when you pick the duck up, and now they're doing that. Now what we want to do, if you remember earlier in the video, we want to walk through our numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, walk through them. I'm going to end it at 2. And I want to transmit into the handset here. And if you watch that red light on the analyzer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know that... Uh, we're transmitting now. And so what I can do is go ahead and unplug the telephone. Because what I want to do, I have uh, my last transistor. I haven't cut the legs off yet. So I want to do that. I want to chop them down and remove the, the legs. The two diodes that we replaced I haven't had a chance to cut the old diodes away, so we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out of the way. And I cut that one out of the way. So now, and then all of our traces have been the ones that were broken. They've also been repaired. Now another issue is, unless it loosened up on its own, but I didn't find the screws, 
someone has been in this telephone because the two screws that go to the dial board here, somebody's probably been in the dial board because it wasn't dialing out if you remember, they didn't replace two screws. So I know somebody's been into the telephone at some point and they had an issue with dialing out, no transmit, one of the eyes not lighting, that wire probably fell off when somebody went in and tried to uh, repair the uh, no dial issue, no dialing. And they went into the keypad for some reason because they thought that might be the issue. And all they would have been able to do is just take a look because, you know, I mean, there was that wasn't the issue. That wasn't the problem. It was components, electronic components on the main PC board here. So we're going to have to get a couple more screws in here. And we're going to put the unit back together again. And then we'll do our final check. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and this duct has been repaired and is finished up and ready to do our final check. So we're going to go ahead and ring the duct again. I'm going to let that go a few times. We'll go ahead and answer. Give you some dial tone. If you watch the analyzer, we're going to walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now, like earlier, I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is quacking in, it has receive, it has transmit, and it's dialing out. We can go ahead and take the switch box here and push the button, and that will take the analyzer totally out of the situation and give us a line out, and we'll call a time and temp number. We know the eyes of the duck are lighting, both when you pick up the uh, handset and when you ring in, good afternoon. When you need body work, we're a short drive away. Offenberg Body Center 2340330. Today is Monday, May 27. The time is 307. Current temperature 90 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight and Tuesday. Low tonight, upper 60s. Tuesday's high, upper 80s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number, and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. So now that we know that this duct has been repaired and is fully functional, we can return it to Eva and she can start enjoying this telephone. These duct telephones are very sought after. And so now that we have some TV shows that, uh, you know, that refer to ducks and uh, are about ducks or uh, has a duck theme to them, uh, they're even more popular. We're getting a lot of calls about them. People are wanting to repair them. They want to use them and uh, you know they want to hang on to them so or they're looking to buy one and uh, if they need to be repaired you know we can do that for them. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.